<clears throat> Here we go. How you doing? It's still Monday, and you're still looking absolutely amazing. And this is video three. That's it, three of three. Did you see the others? Are you seeing them yet? If not, after this one, not now, not now. After this one, go check them out. Have a coffee. Have a. Co oh, I want a coffee. I ain't even had a coffee yet. I ain't even had a coffee yet. It's a travesty it is. Anyway, look at this random eating potatoes. As I've got a question, right? We've got a question. Now, I have sent an email to Christopher Tenerife, and maybe he'll come back to me because I've kind of asked him the same fucking question because I think that this entire Jay's Latter case has gone way beyond the point where it became a circus. It became a circus a long time ago. Now, it's fucking... I don't know. But... There's been another video released, and I'm not, I'm not first. It's not about being first. Not everybody wants to come first. Mm. I thought that I'd wait and let the dust settle, watch what everyone else was saying, see what everyone else had to say about it, and then come and give you my take on it. Because Warren Slater released another video on his TikTok that is obviously depicting an element of the search and it was quite interesting to watch he come across this little like hobbit hut like a little cottage thing that had been abandoned and was walking around it and stuff like that but anyway it's by the by it don't matter what the fucking what's in it it's he's uploaded it and i'm now getting to the point where there's some questions here question being we've heard recently from potentially Debbie Duncan speaking about Mark Williams Thomas and seemingly suggesting that I don't even know what's going on there. One of them fuckers are lying. One of them's lying because you've got one saying that he's in contact, the other one trying to make out like they don't even fucking like him and if he's got shit to say then come out and fucking say it. Debbie Duncan seems to have a problem with social media and anybody covering the Jay Slater case. And we know at the moment the only people who are really covering the case are the people who are kind of balls deep in the conspiracy element of the Jay Slater case, still trying to push certain theories and thoughts around the case. And look, that's that, if there's a market for it, then people are going to carry on doing it. Do you know what I mean? That's just, if people want bananas, you're going to sell them bananas. Do you know what I mean? And um, at the moment, I'm selling apples, and not many people like fucking apples, even though an apple a day keeps a doctor away. Remember that. Remember, apples are better for you than fucking bananas. But anyway, a lot of people still want bananas, and people are dishing out bananas left, right, and centre, and people are chomping them up. <laughs> Went off on a bit of a tangent there. But point being, let's get back into it. So, look, so Debbie Duncan seems to have a problem with social media in the way that it's being spoken about. She's kind of come out and said, oh, I'm fucking all back into it because Mark Williams Thomas comes out and reignites kind of the, the ex can I call it excitement? Excitement around the Jay Slater case as people think, oh, we must be getting close to someone being arrested, something happening around this case. And um, she's kind of shot that down in flames, but told about the effect that this post has had on her as again it's reignited the 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 case and the talk around it, the chatter he then basically comes out as a rebuff to her saying that they hadn't spoken but it made out i don't even know it was almost like he was saying that she was a fucking liar and he had been in contact with her and there wasn't a fucking problem and the media were lying or someone was fucking lying that's the truth, that one of them was lying, someone along long hair's lying, which seems to be the problem in the Jay Slater case, that nobody seems to be able to tell the fucking truth. <sighs> but, look, then Jay Slater's dad, Warren Slater, uploads his fucking video. So off the back end of this, he then uploads a video, and I am way beyond understanding what the purpose is. What the fucking purpose is, I see these videos being uploaded, I see multiple questions, multiple statements around this situation that when he uploads a video, it then reignites people's belief that what Warren Slater is saying is he doesn't believe the story, what is being put out there. What is being put out there. And I can't understand why... Warren Slater and Debbie can't just come out and state where they are with it. To, to absolutely state where they are. And, and just come out and say, look, we don't think that what has been found... Because it's not illegal to do that. 
they're entitled to an opinion. You see other cases like Jack O'Sullivan, for instance, and his family are being very vocal about they f the way they feel about it, the way it's been dealt with. They have called out law enforcement and they have said that they're not happy about <clears throat> how things are going. And so you are in a position as a family to call out authorities and you are okay to come out and say this and you, you can say that how you feel what you think and i don't understand what is going on around this case i don't understand why certain things are being done because on one hand you've got debbie who seems to have an issue with social media and just wants to let the case lie and she she would call out mark williams thomas for instance who would be suggesting that there may be more to it and she's like saying well if you've got fucking more to say spit it out or fuck off you know what I mean? Don't come out and do it in that manner. Just spit the fucker out or do one. And then within hours, you've got Warren Slater releasing another video that further pushes it. So are Warren and Debbie on the same fucking page? Are they? Is this just about making sure that the, the again, I'm going to say excitement, the excitement, the intrigue around the Jay Slater case doesn't die off? Is that what this is about now? Because it seems every time there's a lull and people start heading off to the next shiny thing, ooh, Liam Payne, Simon Cowell killed him. They then start doing stuff that then reignites it again. And I do, you know, I don't want to accuse people of being disingenuous or having some other motive behind the things that they do, but that's how it looks. It looks like. This entire situation, even from the start, so not even from the end, I'm talking about from the start, it seems that this case was manufactured in a way that would spark curiosity, get interest, and and uh, and generate an income through the the nature of the beast that is social media and the people that follow these cases. And it seems that they're just trying to keep it going. Keep it going. There's a lull. Let's do something. Brings it back up. There's a lull. Do something. Bring it back up. The only reason that the Jay Slater case did as well as it did in terms of revenue, if you like, for people, even myself, I, I obtained revenue through the Jay Slater case. And the only reason that happened is because of the intrigue around the case. You know as a polar opposite to it, you look at the the Jack O'Sullivan situation, which is pretty much fucking identical, albeit that he was, it could be argued that he, him and his family were more deserved of the amount of support assistance that was seen elsewhere. I, I, I don't get it. It seems to me that if you're, Oh, I don't know. I don't even want to go down that road of saying what I was going to say. How oh, fuck I was that? It seems that if you're a fucking bit of a scumbag and you've got a bit of a dodgy fucking history, people lap up the stories and they're willing to fucking pay and keep paying and paying and paying and paying and paying, and paying into it and buying into it and supporting just into forever. I can see this case being like in 2029. Jay Slater may have been thrown off the ravine by aliens let me know where you are with it what is going on around this case is it just about prolonging the story now prolonging it and seeing how much can be made of it an incoming documentary it's going to be an exciting watch i'll catch you all in the next one